Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will talk again about the topography. Uh, as you see my previous video about the topography, I saw how to use the QGIS uh, and OpenStreetMap. So, but actually OpenStreetMap it's not only about the QGIS. Uh, you can use, for example, from the Autodesk solution, it's called InfraWorks. So today we will uh, use the InfraWorks, for example, to get some, uh, I don't know, uh, let's say we will go to the now, to the months, mountains and we will get some, uh, for example, Switzerland, we will get some area from that side. So, uh, what you gonna what you gonna do in InfraWorks? By the way, this is uh, InfraWorks 2020. You can get it for free if you are a student, or you get can get the trial version if you are not student but still you wanna try it. So, uh, all the links you will find below. Even for you, you will find the link to my previous video about the QGIS. Okay, so you need only one thing. You should go to the Open Builder. And here you will see the world map. You just uh, choose, um, uh, I don't know, area what you want. For example, you want some somewhere this area. And what are you gonna do next? Next, you just uh, should uh, draw your uh, rectangular area which you need. Just remember one thing: the maximum is 200 square meter, not more. And after that, when you will finish, just give the name of this uh, future model and say create the model. Uh, after that, the Navis, uh, oh sorry, not Navis, work InfraWorks actually. Infra InfraWorks will take like uh, 5, maybe 10 minutes to uh, get the data from this uh, site. And uh, we'll send you the email like um, your model finished, please check it out. You will just update it. I already have this. Uh, I already have this one. As you can see, this one, Switzerland. So uh, we will go now inside and we will check it out how it looks like this model. So here we are. And as you see, this is pretty cool because we get the, all this 3D, uh, 3D mesh. You can see it. Uh, also, you can see that we have the, all the height of the buildings and the roads. For example, you can even deselect the roads if you need it. Uh, as you can see right now, I can select this road. I can see, I can check what I have the types of this road. I can even to change, for example, the size if I need it. And of course, I can import. I mean, the export it to any files which I want. So uh, InfraWorks actually working with uh, 3D. So if you want export, for example, to 3D Max, you can do it really easily. If you want to export to the Revit, you need uh, formats because without the formats, you not will do that. So here, as you can see, uh, it's really, really pretty, um, pretty close to the real model. And as you can see, we have all the buildings. You don't have any 2D buildings here. This is really cool. So uh, what can, what else can do the uh, InfraWorks? Let's see. I will start from the far. So, uh, for example, you can s change, of course, the some visual style. For example, you can uh, a sun switch. For example, the sun. You can uh, change the color of the your uh, map. You are able to make, for example, wireframe mode, and you will see, for example, how it looks like. Uh, I mean, the, how it looks like network. Uh, Anyway, you can use the high uh, visual quality if you want and show the sky if you need it. So this is real 3D model now. Uh, if you, for example, you will import your Revit file inside here, so you can make some small render or show it on the uh, real situation plan. So what can else we do? Of course, we can switch on animation here now, not any animation and something else about uh, only visual style. So I will leave it as it is. I know you change here a lot of the settings if you will interesting we will make a big tutorial about the infraworks but now it's only quick uh, quick review about the infraworks let's say for example you have the one road here and the second road and our future building will be here right but before we will uh, try to place our building here, for example, I want to create here the road. Yes, you are possible create road uh, right here in InfraWork. 
you just should go to the road and component roads you can choose uh, the roads so here is uh, two lines right now but here there are a lot of different uh, walls you, oh I mean the roads you will find so uh, for example let's make this uh, a bit strange one because uh, here it's like uh, the off-road thing but anyway we will start to draw for example from this side so again the component choose your type what you want choose where you want start and let's as you can see when you starting it's automatically creating the right angle for your road if you will do some impossible angle the infraworks will tell you like sorry we cannot do that so let's make it a bit uh, more realistic one maybe like this one and like that just double click after that let's say okay just few seconds and now our road will come as you can see this is really a huge uh, huge road uh, for our site anyway as you can see we get a lot of things here and we connected our roads from the one side to the other one of course you can select this uh, road and change to the other one type or you can for example uh, make some settings of that for example uh, we can change the angle of that if i will change angle it's now will it takes a bit of time and will change it for example we can change the height of that one so let's change it and it will change a bit and for example we can make the speed functional uh, really a lot of things we can do here in infoworks just uh, uh, you should try it uh, again if you want uh, a big tutorial about it please leave a comment and I will uh, and I will make like one hour tutorial about infrawork so what else actually a lot of things let's go from the road uh, to the uh, infoworks uh, tools I will uh, close this uh, view settings and I need for example let's say uh, here is my uh, future building and I want uh, to use here the grass um, because now I'm not in the sand, maybe it's only sand. Let's go to the uh, InfraWorks tools, the Endgame tools, uh, coverage, and here you will find a lot of draw styles. For example, here the gravel border, here there are a lot of different things. Let's use the gravel border. You just draw your bo future border. Let's do like this, double click, and after that we get something like that, why not? So, uh, a lot of things you are able to do here. For example, you don't wanna uh, now this road here, so it will finish till here. Uh, you can able change it till, till your future road, like this. Um, okay, so what else we can do? Of course, you can place some trees. You can place some trees here, like this, like this, like this, double click, and let's say, let's say okay. So, and as you can see, like a lumen, you can place your trees here. So it's possible to do. But if in lumen it just uh, 3D, here is a lot of data you can able to take it. I mean, to the rabbit, to the navis work, to the, a lot of things. Uh, for example, you can put here the some uh, city furniture. For example, I don't know, you will find like uh, maybe this site under construction. You can place it here. Uh, you just place like this one and here we are you now have this thing here you of course can rotate it uh, you can able load some um, objects from the 3d max if you want for example to create something uh, a realistic thing so as you can see we get our um, our construction thing here and like in Revit, you can able here create like variants. For example, this is our first variant. We can go to the master, you can see it here. You can add new one. Let's say this is test one. Let's call it like this. Let's say OK. Uh, now we are inside the new variant. And now we can able place, for example, let's place here some building. Here the facade building. Uh, let's use some facade of the maybe this button this only facade of the building so it's okay so we will use that one from that side to that side here will be our facade here is will be our building just double click so here is our building uh, and if you will go back to the for example master view we will see this building not here 
uh, we will go back to the test one you will see it building it's here so you can able create some variants to represent to your client so this is really cool uh, you can do whatever you want even for example you can go for uh, i will go to the new one this is a one more uh, style and i will here activate the uh, sustainable map so let's activate it it will take time i will back when it will finish so here we are it's still generating as you can see the here you can uh, get the cost gradient so the red one this is the cost and the low one this is the mountains you can see it here you can manipulate with the levers here you can add some levers uh, create some your own functional i will leave it as it is here and as you can see we can get maps like this one uh, you can create for example maps uh, any analytical maps for example for the road uh, for the noise for the s whatever you want and if you will go back to the test one you will see the previous map without any changes so you can create a lot of different maps to analytical model this is really cool when your building still under um, not under construct it's uh, under developing right it's when it's concept mode or if you're a student and you want and you want to represent it uh, really cool so you can use the uh, infraworks okay guys i think that's it for now i just will tell you if you want expert you just go Go here to the export and export 3d model so you can export 3d model you will find here for example fbx file or you can here find the daa file or obg which you want use it uh, actually uh, for to the revit if you want export to the revit we will use the point clouds this is more better for us um, if you're interested about the infraworks uh, leave the comments like this video and i'll do as soon as possible but for now this is finished thank you guys for watching and see you next time to support my channel you can go to gumroad check that my store there you can find bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house by this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys